latest on this. Yeah, this was a ham-fisted attempt at best if you read the entire email. Yeah, it, the email, the screen capture of it is bizarre and quite frankly disturbing. Look, calls are growing for verifiable evidence that the Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai is okay, that she's safe, especially after what happened on Wednesday. You have CGTN, the English language state-run media outlet, taking to Twitter to post a screen cap of an email allegedly by Peng Shuai. And it's 10 sentences long. Bizarrely, there is a cursor that's quite visible in the middle of the screen cap. In it, she apparently says, quote, everything is fine, unquote, and goes on to recant the sexual assault allegations that she made earlier against this very powerful man, Zhang Gaoli, the former vice premier of China. Um, and let's bring up an excerpt for you. She says, um, if the WTA publishes any more news about me, please verify it with me and release it with my consent. As a professional tennis player, I thank you for all your companionship and consideration. I hope to promote Chinese tennis with you all. If I have the chance in the future, I hope Chinese tennis will become better and better, unquote. Now, I should note that the alleged email has not been verified by CNN. And interestingly, this has not been shared or reported on domestic media, including state-run media inside China. Now, the uh, Women's Tennis Association, they quickly came up with their statement in response to that and cast some serious doubt on the veracity of that alleged email. We heard from Steve Simon, who wrote this, quote, I have a hard time believing that Peng Shui actually wrote the email we received or believe what is being attributed to her. Peng Shui displayed incredible courage in describing an allegation of sexual assault against a former top official in the Chinese government. The WTA and the rest of the world need independent and verifiable proof that she is safe, unquote. Now, Peng Shui is one of China's biggest sporting stars. She is a two-time Grand Slam champion in doubles tennis in Wimbledon from the French Open. And it was about two weeks ago, November the 2nd, that she took to her verified Sina Weibo page. It's a popular social media platform in China where she made those accusations against Zhang Gali, saying that he had forced her to have sex with him. Um, that post was immediately taken down. She has been scrubbed off of social media. There is a blanket censorship ban on her, and she has not been seen or heard publicly since then. And concern has been growing about her safety, but also at this time about the safety of athletes in general in China, especially with the Beijing Winter Games games just weeks away. Take a listen to this. It takes it right to the front burner of speaking out athletes rights, how you're treating women, uh, how you're treating athletes in general and, and, and human beings in general. And so two and a half months before the Beijing Olympics, this is a nightmare for China. A lot is at stake here for China, the Olympic host. You have the eyes of the world locked on to find out what is next and what will be the fate of Peng Shui. John. Indeed, Chrissy, thank you. Chrissy, you start life for us in Hong Kong.